Hey everybody, Lilo here, Headbangers Lifestyle here at Alcatraz Open Air Festival 2023. I have here Hansi Kush and he is the lead singer of Blind Guardian. Blind Guardian is of course the Titan power metal band from Germany and they're gonna play today and almost 40 years in the business. Oh yes, yeah, don't remind me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's a long time. It's been a ride, I guess, for you. Yeah, I haven't felt it for the first 35 years, but now <laughs> it's getting a bit tough, so yeah. Really? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. So, uh, are you satisfied with how that uh, career uh, progressed and where you're at now? I would say yes. Mm -hmm. uh, there is nothing to complain about. You know, uh, we're still aiming for the stars, but we got pretty far. So there's no complaint from our side. Um, we still have fun. That's the most important thing. Yeah. It's hard to believe sometimes, but when we're on stage, we're getting better, older, obviously. Yeah. Yes, but, uh, of yeah. Uh, the energy is still there, mm -hmm. and things have changed a bit. But all in all, it's a great ride, and we keep on doing so. Yeah. So, uh, what keeps you so passionate about uh, metal and being part of the community? I think the, the creativity, the open-mindedness of people. Mm -hmm. um, we never have had problems with our fans to define new directions in our music. It's yeah. obviously, it's heavy metal and it's speed metal, power metal, call it whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we could do whatever we wanted to. We have had these orchestral things, then we have had more modern things, mm -hmm. all in relation to what we are doing and um, there hardly were any complaints and so we were able to continue uh, the style of music we yeah. wanted to and metal is a great philosophy i think the people are you know not only open-minded but also very friendly and that helps also yeah so is there anything you would like to try out uh, if you have the chance with blind guardian uh, we did so far yeah. and um, it's it's all a question what comes across and um, how things develop yeah. So um, there's nothing, you know, we have to do, but of course we want to become the biggest heavy metal band ever, you know, no matter how old we are, yeah. <laughs> it hasn't changed. Yeah. It's good to have an ambition still, <laughs> <Yeah>. right? <laughs> uh, and today you play at Alcatraz. Mm -hmm. um, how do you feel about this, being part of this fantastic uh, festival? It is a fantastic yeah. festival indeed. Um, we've been treated very kindly and we came up with a last minute request. They all have been covered by the festival. That is a rare rarity. And um, well, I feel privile privileged. Belgium is not our biggest market and play such a place is a good chance for us. And yeah, we will do a bit of show, of course. Yeah, of course. And uh, you were at Wacken uh, Festival mm -hmm. recently uh, as a special guest mm -hmm. for Doro's 40 year yeah, gig mm -hmm. there. Uh, how do you look back on that? How was it? It was fun. Yeah. It's uh, not my first appearance for another band there. I did that a couple of times. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, to be spot on is not always easy if you're just there for three minutes. Yeah. And then you have to, well, you have to pay tribute to the artist, which is of Doro course. in that case. Yeah. Yeah. But you want to make an impression somehow. Of and course. if you just have like six sentences, this is like uh, kind of a um, weird thing. But, you know, if you receive the warmth of the audience, you're just in the moment. And that's a great thing. And it was bad weather, but when Doro played, it was okay. So wow, no complaints from this side. And for Doro, it was a big success. Yeah. How do you feel about Doro's career? She's a role model in, in many ways. She, um, she's a tough lady, I have to say, you know, um, she's very kind and she comes from the same area we are from, but I know what it means to be in the business for so long. And she, has a band now which is following her for a long time but in my case i have you know three fans uh, fans and friends yeah hopefully fans as yeah. well of my voice um, along with me all the time yeah and um, i share my obligations with the guys so that's the difference but she is in charge of everything and all spots are on her yeah. and yeah you know how it is she's a woman so yeah you know i can dress up I so. however i want to you know? <laughs> yeah. there's no makeup there's nothing yeah. and i still shine <laughs> And yeah. you have to you have to be so careful on you if you you know if you want to be in the business and you know present yourself and she did it in a marvelous way. Yeah. And what does it take to be so long in the business for you? Um, I think this is pretty much in common with everyone. It's 
an ambition, it's a vision and hunger. Yeah, you still have to have that yeah. to keep on going. If this is not there, of course it changes and yeah, I'm not, you know, aiming to be the center of the universe. You know, if I'm in yeah. a room, I don't care if I'm in a hotel or so, yeah. no one has to pay attention. That's not the case. But if we're on stage, there's still this feeling. And if we create something that's, yeah, that's life. That's, that's a big part of yeah. everyone's life in the band. I can for sure say that for me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you're facing an extended uh, tour, August to start, mm -hmm. and then throughout, I think, next year, February yes. somewhere? Yeah. yeah, it goes further. Yeah. Uh, how do you stay fit? How do you, how do you keep yourself, you know, uh, healthy <laughs> to perform every night, you know, and fit. yeah, good and deliver? Well, first thing is to take care. Yeah. You know, um, I learned that over the years. That's a good okay, thing about 30, 40 years career. You hit the wall, I guess, uh, somehow. Yeah, I didn't see the door a lot of times, yeah. let me put it that way. <laughs> And now I do. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I try to, you know, yeah. as, as often as I can. Um, this helps. And then doing a sort of you know, routine every day, which means uh, I'm taking a lot of care of my vocals. That's the main issue for the day. But I also um, try to get myself in shape before tour. Now I'm a bit late, I have to oh. say. I have four <laughs> weeks left and I need to get rid of some weight. When mm -hmm. we're on the road, it's not so difficult to lose some further weight. but yeah, the weight you carry is the problems you're having. I can understand. Yeah, so work to do. <laughs> a bit, yes, yeah. <laughs> Maybe bit. I do a little bit, you know, in the next whatever, 45 minutes or so. Yeah, yeah. We'll see. And um, the latest album, uh, The God Machine, was released in 2020. Mm -hmm. And critics say that it's the best album in the genre. What would, do you say? I would not say? disagree. No. Uh, no. <laughs> um, it's a good album. Um, we di we always put a lot of effort into the albums, but this one was the right uh, the album at the right time. I think this is one thing you cannot really conduct. Sometimes you're having a great album, but people are aiming into a different direction and they do not recognize how brilliant the album might, might be. But in this case, we have had luck. Yes. Yeah. So it's a it's a good statement and something you build on upon from now further in the future? Yeah, I would say so. Yeah. Um, we did that orchestral album some time ago, like in, I think it was in 2019, mm -hmm. and we worked on that forever. Yeah. It was a long, long time. Yeah. And that took a lot of our attention. And of course, everything was somehow designed music-wise whenever we did a metal album or so to go into that direction already. Right now, we're free. We can do whatever yeah. we want to. That's, that's great mm -hmm. for creativity. It is, yes. With that feeling, yeah. that's good. And um, something I noticed uh, on your website, you have a Patreon area, mm -hmm. correct? Uh, paid uh, area for, for fans, mm -hmm. they, can, they can pay. And what do they get there when they go in there? It's a fan club. It's a fan you know, club? That's how I relate to it. They get a closer contact to the band. They, yeah. you know, people can talk to us and uh, we deliver footage from all eras of the band. Mm -hmm. and Basically, we're still working on it. We do not know where this journey ends because it's new for us. Yeah. We just started it and people are embracing it, uh, yeah. but it's work. Yeah. yeah. Is it something to have more commitment, uh, to get more commitment from fans these days? Because I guess everybody has a hard time with maybe selling uh, merch or selling albums. It's maybe difficult or you're okay well, there. I would not mind earning money with it, but yeah. that's not the case. Um, so it's really... At, at the very least, it's not now. It's really like a fan thing and yeah. um, we invest what we're getting mm -hmm. and basically, you yeah. know, it's something to get in touch with people, of course, like yeah. all the social medias are. Yeah. And therefore, it's a good thing. It's yeah. a good tool. Yeah. Do you do signing sessions as well as, uh, as with fans on well, festivals? We do, like for today, we do it. Yeah. and. Uh, you know, it became a sort of business fashion to involve that into live yeah. appearances. We try to resist as good as we can. We we have to do it sometimes, but uh, in general, we we think signing sessions are a dedication to the people, and they don't have to pay extra. Yeah, of course. But uh, how do you feel about meeting the fans so up close when they're coming to a signing session? Uh, it was never a problem for us. It's fun, right? It's fun, it's and see. when we started, I mean, we first things we did were in 
the middle of the 80s. And yeah. there was pretty normal fans and bands, they mixed up. Yeah. And that has never changed for us. Yeah. But do you see a difference in your audience? I mean, uh, you have, of course, your, your old followers, but is there like a more younger fans as well? We have a diverse audience yeah. when it comes to this. Yeah. Um, you see, you know, when the heydays of the band were, uh, the amount of people having that age is a yeah. bit bigger, of course. Yeah, of course. Um, yeah. But we also have female fans. Yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> we, we take them all. Yeah. <laughs> Mothers, <course>. children, <laughs> you know, <laughs> girls, men, whatever. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah, as long as the music, you know, reach yeah. people, yeah. I guess. And, uh, and there's music. excitement, like we played yeah. in, in Helsinki two days ago, mm -hmm. and wherever we play, it's yeah. basically the same. Yeah. Um, people are really into it. Yeah. That just proves that what we are doing yeah. is somehow delivering something to people. Yeah. And is touring actually different than in the old days? How do you feel about touring these I days? I said everything is a little more laid back. Mm -hmm. um, comparing it with the days before Corona, it's still a little bit more difficult because, you know, everything has changed a little yeah. bit. The regulations have changed this and that, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Uh, but all in all, it's quite a comfortable ride, as I was to say. It's yeah. not that um, we could complain or that things have become drastically impossible. No, but it's still fun. As it, it is, was in the old it days. It is fun, but still that fun. is also related to the people you're traveling with. We are oh, friends yes. in the band, we yeah. have a good crew, we are a small party, like especially on locations like this, where yeah. with 12 people, mm -hmm. and we get along very well, everyone. Yeah. And that is important. Yeah. Because you see that over the years, you always figured, okay, this won't go well for a long time. Yeah. You know? So we have to find a, a way to somehow maintain it to a different direction. Yeah, yeah. So uh, besides touring, is there any other news to share uh, that we need to know? What's coming or something? Uh, touring person? is very important. And, yeah. um, I hope that there is a chance for us to come back to Belgium next year, because yeah. this year's uh, European tour does not cover Belgium. And either another festival or like two or three shows here mm -hmm. would be too bad. Yeah. So I would like to work on that. Yeah. Uh, other than that, yeah, don't yeah. miss us. That's the important thing. The important thing. No yeah. book writings or biographies or uh, whatsoever? Biography is... Stuff. Oh, yeah. there's plenty of stuff. Book special um, releases, all that I stuff. Think, Are you yeah. working on stuff? Yeah, now that you mention it, we worked on uh, an anniversary version of Somewhere Far Beyond. So this is on the way. I believe it is going to be released next year. Yeah. Um, then the biography, there is a biography, everyone needs a biography. Yeah. 40 years that this yeah, allows some, some stories, of course. Yeah, yeah and um, that is on the way for at least the last five years, so I have no the idea how that... Documentary, documentary on yeah. film, well, yeah. you know. People love us, so yeah. nothing is impossible, but I'm, I'm fine with the way it, it goes yeah. at the moment. That's good to hear. Well, thank you so very much for this. You're very, very nice, welcome. Uh, thank you. Nice good luck. Yeah. And good luck with the show. Thank good you. luck with the tour. And thank you. And thank you, thank you. for watching Headbangers Lifestyle. See you later. Ciao.